Okay, here we have a free body diagram and we're asked to find the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. If two forces are in the same direction, you add them together. So we have 50 newtons towards the right. And if forces are in the opposite directions, then you subtract. So it will be 50 newtons minus the 10 newtons to give us 40 newtons to the right. Okay, here we have forces at right angles to each other. So you can find the resultant, which is going to be towards the top left, by copying the vectors tip to tail like this. Then you get a rectangle, because they're at right angles. The resultant force is towards the top left, and we need to find its size, the magnitude, and the direction using find by finding that theta. So you can use Pythagoras, 30 squared plus 10 squared square root which gives us 32 newtons, which is the size of the resultant force. And the angle here, so we've got 30 newtons on this side, and we've got 10 newtons on this side. So over here we've got, because this is the opposite of the angle, theta, so I'm going to call that the opposite, and this is adjacent. So the thing that the trigonometric function which has opposite and adjacent is tan theta, which is opposite over adjacent. So tan inverse opposite of the angle is 30 newtons and the adjacent is 10 this gives us 72 degrees and you can say this is you can say 70 degrees above the horizontal which is a 10 newton one or you can say te, um, 70 degrees clockwise from the 10 newton force in this situation 30 newton force is not at right angles to the 10 newtons or is not at the same along the same line either so it's best to resolve this into its horizontal and vertical components so horizontally the part that's next to angle for, uh, 48 degrees is going to be 30 cosine 48 because this is right next to the angle so that gives us 20.1 newtons and the vertical component upwards is going to be 30 sine 48 which gives us 22.3 newtons so the four star in opposite direction which is a 10 newton and the uh, 20.1 newtons gives us a resultant towards the right of 10.1 newtons and an upward force which isn't being counteracted in any way of 22.3 3 newtons and again we'll use trigonometry and Pythagoras to find the resultant which is going to be in this direction and you'll find that as the, using Pythagoras you find 24.5 newtons and the angle here if you use Pythagoras and labeling everything opposite and adjacent carefully you find so for example in this case the opposite is 22.3 so tan inverse opposite over adjacent 22.3 over 10.1 gives me an angle of 66 degrees for theta okay three forces now again it's best to resolve the 40 newton force into horizontal and vertical components and if you do that using 40 cosine 11.5 you find that's 39 newtons and using 40 sine 11.5 you find that this is 8 newtons so the 8 newtons from above and below they cancel out so there's not going to be any force up or down however there is going to be a force a resulting force towards the right so that's going to be 39 minus 20 which is 19 newtons towards the right In this one, you have the 120 newton forces acting diagonally, so it's best to resolve both. So if I resolve the one on the left, we have a component going towards the left, which is 120 cosine 50. And we have a component going upwards from this force on the left of 120 sine 50. Now if I resolve the uh, diagonal force on the right, is going to have a component going towards the right 120 cos 50 now so these forces are going to because they're equal and they're symmetrical they're going to cancel out so we don't need to worry about force towards the left and right because they balance each other out this one still has another component going upwards so don't forget this so this is going to have 120 sine 
50 going upwards or so the total force upwards is going to be 2 times 120 times sine 50 but however there's a force going downwards so we're going to have to subtract that as well so if we find 120 that, that's going to be 184 newtons so I'm going to subtract that from the 60 newton downwards so the total force will be 124 newtons upwards